So Ari, all right, y'all. We on here with Ari. She finally made it. She only um 20 minutes late, but it's 19, okay. 19. Okay, we'll give her 19. She's 19 minutes late, but it's okay. We get ready to talk about the Impact ATL, Ari's new show that's on BET Plus. If y'all not watching it, make sure y'all get into it. It's on BET Plus streaming. Y'all got 999. Get on there. Watch it. It's, it's really good. Like, I really. Okay, please go like, and stream and watch it. I show. really like the show, though, Ari. I like it. I really, really like, like it, it because, you know, being, being an influencer, too, it's like, you know, I'm watching y'all and the way y'all hustle and the things y'all go through, and I'm like, dang, yeah, I understand. And then, you know, getting the backlash from social media. But we're going to get into all that, though. Yeah. We're going to get into all that. How you doing? Good. I'm good. I'm really tired. Well, I was really tired. But um, I'm okay. I'm good. All right. Well, you How look you good. Doing? I'm, I'm doing good, you know. I'm you look good. Here. I look blessed. You look blessed. You look good. You look handsome. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, so let's go ahead and get into it. I got my own questions. I got some other questions I want to ask you. First of all, what I'm made you want to... What is that? Get that out of there. Because you know you be cooking. She probably made a rib or something. I had some um, <laughs> Chipotle rib. <right? laughs> okay, it's out, y'all. Thank you. All right, she ready. Okay, so Ari, what made you want to do um, reality? Um, what the, the it just it got presented to me, and I was like, like cool, like I I, I fuck with it, like I want to do it. So you didn't hesitate or nothing. You ain't say. Uh. Um, I think that I was like a little bit because it was like, damn, do you really want people like all in your business like that? But then I feel like I'm already an open book. But then it was like, it's really a lot that people don't know about me. Mm -hmm. and I think that it, it it gives people like a better understanding of me, like. Once you get to see like behind the scenes and like things that's not posted on social media, I think that um, I was kind of like that. That might be cool. Yeah, because even with on this episode, um, it ended in, in episode three, but then it popped back off with your sister. So you had a chance to even have your family on there. So we got yeah. to really tap in and see like oh because you know people think on social media this this is not a real person all they do is this they post this they post that but right. we got to see like you be vulnerable you yeah. know we got to see your family and speaking of your sisters have y'all been have you had a chance to get them back together and mend yeah. that relationship because mm -hmm. i see your episode four you was over you went back to the booth like hey. It's me, because it's me thinking, like, okay, like, okay, cool. Like, they ain't finna. First of all, this is how I'm thinking. I'm like, if, if it's the cameras here, then, because I was trying to get them to link up for so long. So I'm mm -hmm. like, but they wouldn't do it. So I'm like, okay, well, if the cameras is here, everybody, first of all, y'all, everybody gonna come to support. Nobody gonna be like, oh, I'm not going because so and so going, you know? But I'm like, if the cameras is here, ain't no way they finna be like, okay, like, no, nah, like, you know, I'm thinking they finna be like, okay, cool, I, right, I'm sorry, hug that. Them bitches say, yeah, bitch, I don't give a fuck about them cameras. <laughs> yeah, I said what I said, and this is what I said, damn. It but I like it, though. It was real. It was, real. It was yeah. real. It was real. It was definitely real. Everything in the show is real, too, by the way, because I be seeing some little stuff like, I don't know, I think they acted that out. Or that was like, like, even though some things are, like, put together, everybody mm -hmm. has the option to say, no, I'm not doing it. You know what I'm right. saying? So, like, if somebody is ever like, oh, like, that, that's fake. or No, it's not fake. It's definitely real. Now, if the they say like oh well, are you open to doing this we say yes or we say no like nobody's mm -hmm. forced to do nothing okay they're, nobody's making us do nothing like everything on the show is real so speaking of everything is real because you know a lot of people were saying oh this fake beef because i was hearing about you know the show and the streets like oh you gotta watch the impact you gotta watch the impact i was like all right yeah. they was like but jada and ari got this fake beef and I don't think it was really beef. Y'all just had this like weird misunderstanding. It's like, do yeah. I speak? Do I not speak? So that was real, right? No, that's just real. It's yeah. not, it's, I'm not, I can't even, I'm not even about to sit and play on nobody. <laughs> like, I'm not about to sit down and be like, okay, let's act like we in two with it. Like, no, right. I'm not doing that. Like, it's that, it's real. It's for real. Like, so it's not a beef. <laughs> like, it's not like a, Oh, we into it. Obviously, you know nobody's gonna go sit down with nobody that they really into it with. Like that's no, but like yeah, it's this the, the conversation is real. What we said is real. Like it wasn't like it's not fake at all. Like it's not. 
So why do you think y'all got this weird roller coaster? You was like, we just weird. You was like, me and Jada, we just gonna be weird. <laughs> um, why do you think it's this roller coaster? What is it? Um, I don't know. I think that so like in some in the upcoming episode, we all like sit down or whatever and like we all talk like amongst each other and I think that what it is is that um I think what it is is that, like, so for, on the internet, like, you know, people could get in people's head and stuff, like, on the internet. But, like, I'm not really like that. Like, I can't, can't nobody tell me nothing about nobody that I know. Or, like, if I see something, like, I'm not going to take offense to it or think that, you know, like, it don't, it don't really matter what nobody, we don't even know these people for real. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, who's even say that these people are even real? This could be a fucking robot, like, typing. And I think that me, I'm more so, like, I'm not affected by things that people say about me on the internet, or at least not now, you know, like it bothers people for sure. But I think right. that it's more like once she reads a lot of stuff, like in comparison or um, like just negative things or whatever, if it has something to do with us, it probably like, you know, it, had, it might tweak her brain a little bit. And then like in person, I feel like it's like, she kind of rub it off on me a little bit. And then it's like, and then I, I'm just reciprocating energy for real, you know? But yeah. I genuinely have ne I've never, it's, it's never been no real, you know, like, issue for real. Yeah. I think oh. that. It ain't no real beef. It's just, it, y'all just get in weird uh, spaces. But since you said that and you know that, just be like, yo, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if you read something, you know, like. Yeah, but no, I'm not even, like, I ain't even going to go that far. Like, it's, it's not even that deep with me. Like, you know, and we two different type of girls, too. Like, we from two different places. We hang around different crowds of people, you know, we into different things. And I just think that, and that's okay. You know, like it's still, yeah. it's love. Like it's, it's nothing wrong with that. Everybody don't have to mix and mingle and be, you know what I'm saying? Like, even if y'all doing the same things or whatever, like it, it don't mean, cause obviously we're completely two different type of women, you know? So, I mean, you know, as long as it's, it's no disrespect, it's no weird, you know, it's just like, I just think that it's just, it's cool like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, look, let's go back to when you said yes to, okay, I'm going to do this show. How was it having them cameras around? Because I've been asked to do reality, and I'm like, nah. And, yeah. you know, I, I do, like, scripted. So that's a, that's a little different because I'm playing a character. But you, it's you. It's your life. How yeah. is it having, letting them cameras in into your space? Um, I think in the beginning I was, like, a little nervous. And, um... It's kind of like, okay, since I know the cameras is rolling, it's kind of like, I don't really want to say what I really want to say, you know? Like, damn, do I really want to let a motherfucker know right. <laughs> how I really am? Like, you know, like, I could show you a little bit, but I could delete it or remove it if it's just on Instagram. Exactly. But, like, when them cameras rolling and he's signing the papers, we putting out what it is, you know? You ain't in control no more. So, um, but I think that, like, I just... I just, I just had stopped caring. Like, it's like you forget that the cameras are around because in a lot of the scenes, we doing stuff and we with people. So it's kind of like you're not really paying attention to the cameras. I swear to God, it's kind of like they just, like, just be there and you just forget. And then a, a lot of times, see, my friends will be talking, you know, we got the mics on. So sometimes we get the same shit and they be like, listen, you know, you right. Like, we be doing that on set too. Like, crazy, mm. like, <laughs> Yeah, don't tweak, don't tweak out now. Or we like this. Okay. <laughs> Bitch, I'm hot. Shut the yeah. Fuck up. But, but the like BT, like the whole BT plus family, like the producers, like they are like on our side. They don't want to put out like you know nasty images of us or like you know anything bad. So I do mm -hmm. like working with them, and I'm glad that BET is who we chose to um do the show with because they care. You know, it's not like a Okay, well, you did this, so, oh, well, like, fuck it, whatever, you sign the papers. It is, you know, they kind of, like, you know, they don't want to, they work with you, like, on not just putting anything out about you. So. Yeah. It's, that's, I, I really like that, too. It makes me more comfortable, and it makes me, like, more like, okay, damn, if it's something, like, absolutely, I should not have ever said that, it's going to be like, okay, we're going to protect you. We're not going to, you know, do nothing. So that's why I like it. Yeah. I, love, I do really, really love that, and I appreciate them so much. Yeah, I love BT too. They that's fam. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody up there. So now that you are on this show, 
how relatable do you think you are now to your fans? Because, you know, we go through a lot. People have a lot to say. But now you have, you show, you show what you want to show on your uh, Instagram. But yeah. now, no, you show a little more. So how relatable do you think you are now to your fans? Very relatable. I think people are not like, yeah, that's my bitch for real now. Like, she was cool before. Yeah. But now, because it's like, you see me. First of all, I'm, yeah, please let me know memes out of me, first of all, okay? Because I don't want that crying a lot. I, I'm, I'm crying on, like, six episodes. I'm going to cry, baby. I live with some sons dip. But um, I think that people, it, it kind of, like, brings you in to, like, damn, that's probably why she act this way. Or that's probably why she went through this such situation. Or, you know what I'm saying? That's probably why she moved. It just makes you, like, it makes me feel like I'm more relatable in ways. And especially, like, with, with business, with family, with my kid. Like relationships, everything, friendships. I think that it, it kind of makes people feel like, damn, these these are things that I, that I go through. You know, mm -hmm. you never really know what other people go through, and then it's like when you idolize somebody or you really like somebody or you look up to them, you kind of look at them as like, like they're not human for real. Like you know, people think that we don't have bad days and like exactly. we don't wake up in the morning like looking in the mirror like I feel so ugly today. You know, like or I don't. I, want to do, today. I do. Like I have them same. Like looking in the mirror, like mm -mm, I, I don't want to restart my whole day. I look a mess. Well, you know, like right. down crying, or like got deaths in my family, and you know, just like regular issues in relationships with friends, um, family problems. And I just think that, like, it's it's kind of it, it it's kind of connecting people to me in a different way. That's kind of like damn, like she really is like a regular bitch like us trying to do what she doing. <laughs> you know, like she's trying to. Get it together, like damn, like I yeah, like that. yeah. And and speaking of being vulnerable, cause you do cry. <laughs> you I cry, cry so bad. I cry so much. Oh, I cry so much. So you have a lot of those moments on here. Which I one do you think is your most vulnerable moment? Oh, uh, it's it's coming. Mm. It's coming. It's, what uh, I'm not sure which episode. I think it'll probably be more towards seven or eight i think maybe maybe like six maybe seven maybe like seven or eight six okay. or seven. it's me um when we went to chicago and i talk about my brother a lot that's something too that i've never talked about is my brother like on social media i don't i never answer questions about my brother i don't talk about him like and on the impact i get like deep into okay things about my brother. And it's kind of really important because people are like, okay, but you keep calling yourself the real Kyle sister. Who's Kyle? And why do you mean so much to you? It, it made sense to me. It made sense to me when I started watching the show. Yeah. And, you know, it was like episode two or three, one of them, and it came up and I was like, oh, this all makes sense. So I'm like, why, why is her name not Ari? <laughs> you right. know? Like, girl, please change your like, name. Real, yeah, I'm like the real Kyle sister, but this is Ari. Like, right. <laughs> so it all makes sense. So I'm like, dang, this show really like, Open your eyes to a lot. Yeah. Speaking of open your eyes to a lot, um, you know, a lot of people say, like, who is Ari? What she do? Why y'all keep posting her? All she do is this on Instagram. Mm -hmm. All she do. Y'all, Ari do a lot. Okay. Ari do a lot. And on here, you really get a chance to see what Ari really do. So it answers. This show really answers a lot of questions for people and what they have uh, for you. So speaking of that, how is Remedy doing? Remedy is doing so well. I'm so happy that I decided to do makeup. I think it was a perfect thing for me to do. It's doing so good. Every day, it's, it be like, damn, you know, you're waking up, you're getting orders and shit, your phone thing ain't going off, and you're like, <laughs> stop this, this. Get money in my sleep. Okay. <laughs> and people really shop while I, like, I think I probably get the most orders in the night. Like, bitches be up late at night, 3 o'clock in the morning, phone going off. I'll be like, let me turn this shit off. Right, you're going to have to. I mean, I shop in the middle of the night. Let me can say okay. I'm like, get out here and order me some shoes. It's <laughs> doing really well, though. It's doing so good. You wearing any Remedy right now? I am. I got Remedy on the lips. And my eyeshadow is Remedy, but it's just, I just did like a real quick little brown over the top. So, wait, you, you did this beat? Yeah. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Yes, that's I why she do my late. own makeup. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's why you was late. <laughs> okay, I'm so, like, uh, yeah, my makeup artist ain't here. You good. <laughs> you good, though. So what were some of the funny moments you had on the show? Well, let's, I want to know the funny moments that you 
the, the one of the funny, funniest moments you had on the show, and then I got another question after that. Um, the funniest moments probably is at the skating rink. I'm glad you said that because now you from Chicago and you are, you don't skate. <laughs> Detroit used to go down to Chicago. Chicago used to come to Detroit. It was a thing. How you don't know how to skate? So I, said, I, I, can, no socks. I can maintain. Like, I can stay afloat. But I can't. They be getting the end. Like, they be going crazy. This is making make me look so stupid. Like, y'all really going to sit here and out skate me like that? <laughs> like, I mean, I can skate just enough to keep my balance and go around. But I can't really skate. I used to go what? to the skate rink for the juke parties. Like, what the nigga said? <laughs> See, I mean, you would have been all right, though, because Teddy and Tucson, I'm going to say they about skate. You see, they play too damn much. Now, if they would have been knocking me down like that, we would have had some drama, because I don't ever know fucking them up. I would have been <laughs> trying to take my skates off and beat their ass. Mm -mm. Wait a minute. <laughs> uh -uh. Do you see how Tucson so came was... and ran us over like that? I did. I did. I was laughing. I said, something wrong with him. I, I really do. Like, the show is really funny. Y'all really genuinely are friends. And when y'all link, whether it's you with Jada, uh, Tay, um, uh, Jada, and Dez, I'm like, dang. It's really, it really ain't no drama. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. it's, <laughs> Look, I don't it's know. So, so it's a lot of, it's a lot of, like, um, it's more personal. Like, my drama is going to come from family and, like, things that, like, really matter to me. You know, like, things that I'm really trying to overcome and stuff that I, like, I really went through. It's not, like, the cast beefing me. You know, right. like, it ain't it ain't about that. Like, I want to I wanna do me. I don't want to be on TV acting crazy with nobody. You know, like, ain't no yeah. drinks getting thrown. Like, only fights that's going to be had is between family. Y'all going to see it's just yes. it's like it's my own drama. So can I be like, oh, are we on there looking messy? She fighting the Lakia and she's swinging on that. Like it's nothing like that. Like my drama and the stuff that is gonna be like, damn, that's a little toxic. It's gonna come from my own family, my own personal things. Like nothing against like cast. Yeah, and that's what I like. The cast not beefing. Everybody doing their own thing and their own way. It's like it's really a breath of fresh air to actually watch this and not see that. And even oh, when your Jada went to, um, with the play date, and yeah. she was asking about Remedy, she was like, what you got? Like, why you ain't posting? Why did, like, she was, like, basically, like, your accountability partner. She was like, you need to be posting. You need to be, like, teasing. Yeah, but, that, was but I'm glad that I did it because how I did it, that worked for me. Yeah. And, and that's what sold me out. So mm -hmm. I got to always follow your own man. I have to do and what I did, your, and that's what works for me. And yeah, it's your business. And you said it. You said, I got it all. I just got to yeah. post it, but I ain't ready. <laughs> yeah, because I, I just, I like, it's it's a thing that me and my team, you know, like, we strategize our own shit, how we want to do it, because it makes sense to, to us. Like, how we, how we do it all in our head, it's like, mm -hmm. this is what's going to work. And we, we, we went that route. I didn't want to, like, I feel like, when you build stuff up for so long, people kind of get tired. Like, okay, bitch, just drop it. Like, how many, how many more times you gonna keep saying you gonna do it? Just go ahead and do it. Like, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So speaking so. Of, of how many times you gonna do it, and everybody asking all these questions, what do your fans and family, fans, family, and friends, what are they thinking about the show so far? They love it. They love the show. My sisters be like cringy a little bit because it's like, damn, we we really was on TV like this, you know. Uh, my mama, she's super proud of me today. She was like, she came, she walked up to me. She was like, um, I fuck raw. I said, Ooh. oh, you, oh my God, you did. I said, my no. And then she gonna send me the definition of. <laughs> <laughs> you did say that. <laughs> She said, I fuck raw in the pussy. I said, oh, my, you don't need to watch that. You don't need to be watching it. Turn this stuff up. I said, I said, you know what? I don't know why BET sit up and put that out there like that. I, don't know what I, said. I said, I don't know what they on. 
Why would they do me like that? You see how it just like you get I get the going off at the mouth, just talking, talking. It's like some stuff, just chill. You did it's say cool. are you uh, where I am, you I'm also telling the truth. You also said I can go without liquor. I can't go without no dick. I said, Oh my life. I, I, I That's the truth. Your mama watching this. She know my mama know my heart. She know me. She know she know. My mama know she child. I'm her child. She know. I get it from my mama. She, Do your she, fans be in your DM telling you about have they been in your DM talking about the show, first of all? Yeah, you know what? I need to start reading my DMs more because I never go in my DMs and like read through them. I be always like felt like the last like two, three years. I haven't been in my DMs for real. Because I'd be like, I don't want to see that shit. Somebody might be sending me something I don't need to see. No, yeah. I'm not looking at it. But, like, through my mentions, you know how you got that? You could look at all your mentions? Yeah. Um, I do look at all of those, and I'll be seeing them. They love the show. And, like, on Twitter, on my feed, they love it. And they be like, damn, like, I fuck with you. I went, I ain't, It's a lot of girls, like, I ain't really fuck with you, but I think I like you now. I'm like, That's what I, I'm saying. I'm telling you, this show do change people's uh thought or the thoughts or anything they have of you because you know on instagram you you be do you pop your shit you know you yeah. pop your shit you like i'm i'm a boss i'm this i'm yeah. that but here it's kind of like okay we can put that to the side she she is a real woman like and i yeah i i f with her like tough like i'm f like i'm telling you when i watched it i was like oh i watched it you like and it? then i watched I, yeah, I really like that. I watched episode four again, and then I really like your. I ain't, I ain't being funny. I really like the moments when you cry, cause I'm like, oh, I just want to give her a hug. <laughs> you was like, hold on, y'all, hold on, hold on. Right, I'm like, oh, hold on, hold on. I was, and I cried so much. And then the fact and you had me laugh because you was like crying, you was like, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I know that's right. She that gave that's how I am sometimes. I'm like, I do not uh, cry so it. much. Yeah, because you was not trying to cry. You was like, okay, I got this. Yes, because <laughs> it's like, girl, you you keep crying every episode. We tired of seeing you cry. We know you sad. You're a sad bitch. Next, please. <laughs> like, damn, it's like, it, it's and it's only only at work. I'm gonna, oh, it's gonna be this one episode. Y'all gonna be. I'm turning it off. Oh, she just she keep crying. I cry. I be, I be so sad. I be talking about stuff that be mad. I it just especially just the episode like with my brother. Oh, I'm gonna cry so bad. It's deep. It's really so really deep. But I don't think that that would be like okay, girl, we're to see you cry. It'd be like she needs some healing. Like it's like it's it's really sad. Because even if, like I looked and it's like. That. But it's real, and like I think that people would, they would they appreciate it. Yeah, I did. I'm telling you, like when I watched it, I was like, oh, I, okay, okay, but, I okay, really, I, get I, I get really it. like her. I really yeah. like. I'm like she, she got some real shit going on. Like, yeah, come on, like Leah. And now I, I think back and remember like all the stuff that's posted on the blog stuff. I'm like, leave her alone. She got some shit going on, y'all. Leave her alone. Like, for real, so I think when people watch this, and if y'all haven't tuned in to the Impact ATL on BET Plus every Thursday, it's four episodes in, one drop every Thursday. So make sure y'all tune in. Um, the show is good, y'all. Like, I got one more question, then we're going to ask, see with these fans. We got 45 questions in queue, so we're going to see. I'm going to pick them up. But um, as we always ask, what's next for you? So I'm working on Remedy Swim right now. And actually, um, the impact, we got a special, something special coming. I don't know if I'm supposed to talk about that or not, but I'm going to just tell y'all a little something anyway. Um, we got a special um, coming up. I think it might come come about after the eighth episode. But we do got something special coming up for the impact ATL. And then I got my swim line, which is going to be Remedy Swim. And I'm working on my um, ghost kitchen. I just finished the menu that I want to do. Mm -hmm. And my seasonings. And then, yeah. Okay. And, um, yeah, I saw, too, when you was like, y'all, I used to cook. Like, I was a housewife. You was like, but I ain't doing that. Um, I'm going to have to taste something. Oh, oh, I got you. 
Oh wait, though, uh, were you when they showed the cover of the magazine? I heard somebody say from bartender to boss. So I didn't know you was a bartender. Yes, I was a bartender and a waitress. I used to be slanging them bottles like, <laughs> where the niggas at with the money? If you're not tipping, I'm not serving you. Excuse me, sir. No. <laughs> and if you're at my bar and when I serve you a drink, if you don't tip me, yeah, you can never get a drink from me again, babe. Walk up on this bar oh. so I ignore you like I don't even see you. Yes, I used, be, oh, I used to be getting no money. So your drink's good, huh? You make strong drinks. You know what? I'm really a shot taker. Like, I only know how to make drinks only because I had to. But it was okay. so long ago, I could probably only make, like, umbrella sour, like, blue motherfuckers, and I think, like, a, um, a, a, a island, what is the drink called? Blue Island? I don't know. Blue I, motherfuckers, though. I used yeah, to have one of them in college, and everybody in the club would be a okay. motherfucker. <laughs> okay. So I could probably, I could still whip me something up. All right, well, I'm gonna have to check that out too, cause you know I make cocktails, so we might have to link up. And cause you be cooking, I I watch your your YouTube's. So I'm gonna have to come over there and see what's going on. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and move on uh, to these fan questions. It's a lot of them. Somebody asked Nikki, she asked, "Will we get a bag and Ari thing? Yeah, will we? Will we? Will we get a bag? Money bag, yo. Is he gonna is he gonna pop up? Cause he's oh. been on Facetime. Uh, no. No. No, yeah. sorry guys. It won't be anything so, about right. my relationship on that show. Nothing about him. It's all about me. Now this question here, <clears throat> I think you already addressed it. I don't. Even, I'm not even gonna ask that. They was asking about. So they clearly she's been watching the show, but they was asking, um, "Are you pregnant?" But you addressed that already on your YouTube. We saw it. Oh, yeah, no. No, I'm not pregnant, y'all. No babies coming up out of here. Um, no, everybody asking the same thing. I heard Will Bag make an appearance. No, y'all. She said no. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about Jada calling you old? She ain't even old. I'm two years older than her. <laughs> I don't know what she's talking about. i have literally... She's like 25, I'm 27. Right, when she said it, she was like, oh my God, I'm about to be 25. Is it, she said, like, you old. I went to Google so quick. I okay, said, like, oh, girl. how old is she? Right, I said, girl, <laughs> you don't sit your butt down. Yeah, no, um, I don't know why she did that. She's crazy. So the next question, who are you, mo who you bond with the most on the show? Okay. But, I mean, y'all are like cousins, right? Basically. Best like, basically. I yeah. Basically. <laughs> y'all, um, man. Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, Tay, Tay, Tucson. Yeah. Some of these questions, all right, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm not they, they out of control. Yeah. Y'all need to stop uh -oh. that. We can ask you this, and then when Tay come on, we can ask him too. They said, why do you think Tay is really hesitant on opening a shop? I just think he don't have the time. He is so all over the place. He always is traveling. It's like, it's always like a, a photo shoot, a, a, a video shoot, like all the time with him. So I think that like when him trying, you know, when you first start your business, you want to be like hands on, it's hands like a baby, you know? So I think that when he get like a flat time, like time to just completely focus on that, mm -hmm. I think that it'll be better. But he just, he's so busy and baby, Deontay, the clients that he has, including myself, we <laughs> pay and we pay very, very well. So, you know, you'd be like, you'd be on the move and you'd be like, I'm gonna get to yeah. it, I'm gonna get to it. And he's so picky, he wants the perfect place. Like he wants to have the, he, he want to walk into it. <laughs> Yes, I'm gonna walk into a salon and it's a big magical uh horses inside and fucking fairy tale looking. I don't know. That man is, he is crazy. He wants top notch. So he is not easily impressed. Yeah, I get that. Um they uh I think all y'all, but they said who is more professional out of all of the cast members. I think all y'all because all y'all on y'all grind, but I'm gonna let you answer. Professional? 
Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think that I think we're still all learning. Mm -hmm. Trying to grow to really be true professionals, you know, like because we ain't come in as professionals, you know. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Hey, remember you Lakia, said Lakia, Lakia six. She she straight. Lakia straight business. She like mm -hmm. QC and my music. That's what we talking about. Let's do. That's it. That's all she talked about. Okay, she like. What, what what's up with that bag? What's up? With, what, we doing this music? We in the studio. I yeah. love Lakia. She that's all she talked about. She own it. She like listen. She I don't play. This. this has to happen. Like I ain't, I ain't backing down. Yeah. Um, a lot of people like. They love Tucson, like you said, even on your your YouTube. It was like, he got to be there. Like, <laughs> people love it. They want to know, will he have a bigger part next season? I hope so. He deserves this. Tucson is the life of the party. He can walk in any room, baby, and his presence got to be known. He Y'all is. Just... And I think we show him, he he's he's more into, um like, on, a, like, upcoming episodes. I think that he'll, he'll be on more, a lot more. Cause mm -hmm. Tucson definitely plays like a big part in the show. Y'all need to um, stop him from smoking all that hookah. The fact that he has a hookah that he drive around in the car with, <laughs> well, Ari, he won't stop. He he is literally addicted to hookah. Like the only way he'll stop is if we like strain him down and take him to the rehab center. <laughs> everybody run away and lock him inside of a room with no windows like he loves his hookah baby is yin yang he do not play by the hookah at least get him a tobacco and nicotine free one because okay he got to have that hookah like <laughs> he don't play by that hookah he's crazy you know I think um it's too many it's a lot of questions but some of them just reckless so we gonna go ahead and stop there but I know both and so Tucson helped us put together this little hookah. We went to uh, Palm Springs, and he mm -hmm. helped us put together this hookah. I didn't know he was a hookah whore like that. That man. Yes. <laughs> I just got off the phone with Bo too earlier. I Did love Bo. I wanted him to come on the show. He should have. I, he was supposed to move. Look, we on here uh, talking now. Okay, no, I know. I <laughs> he was know. supposed to move. He was supposed to move to Atlanta. He had moved out mm -hmm. to LA. I was out there, and then I moved here for uh, my shows down to Atlanta. He was supposed to move to Atlanta at first, but then he came. He went out to uh, LA. I think he should come down here. Yes, me too. I love Bo. He's so fun and just he is a good time. He everything always think is happy. funny. He think everything is funny. He can everything cook. He, he can. He definitely can. My very first meal that I cooked on on dinner with the dime was inspired by Bo. Really? Yeah, he. I ate oh, that food. I said, "I'll make this shit." He told me he had cooked for you um, when you came out there, and then it's a good me all the time. I beg, <laughs> literally beg him. Yeah. I be like, please, Bo, cook me some pie pie. He made pie pie so good. I ain't had that. He gonna have to make me one of them. It's <laughs> so good. All right. Um. Well, we gotta go ahead and get up here. I already got things to do. She is a very busy woman. I'm very busy. I gotta get on here and do these reviews for y'all so y'all can leave me alone. But thank you, Ari, for coming on and talking to me. Um. You know, we thank don't do you this for real soon. Me. You welcome. And I'm gonna let you go, y'all. Make sure y'all watch the Impact ATL on BET Plus streaming every. Thursday. It's streaming right now. Catch up if you haven't right watched now. it. Yep. Make sure y'all catch it. It's four episodes in right now. It's good. Y'all gonna, y'all love it. We got Ari the Don, Eric and Tay, Jay the Waiter, um, Dior, Des Dior, sorry, Des Dior, and uh, my girl, Lakia, first off, bitch, mind your business. First off, bitch, <laughs> mind your business. <laughs> All right. We're gonna go ahead and let you leave. I'm about to get to okay. it. I gotta get to work. I'm going to let you go ahead because I know you're about to um, see how much money okay, you got. Okay, bye.